Well, Duddy is part of a community that live on Snake Road in the Whitehall section of Parsboro, and he's a man who can't stay out of trouble. His, uh, his poor wife, Minnie, tries to keep him out of trouble, but Duddy just seems to stray into the waters that uh, you shouldn't stray into. And uh, that's the story of Duddy Miguel in a nutshell. He just can't stay out of trouble. If he walks under a ladder, a bucket of paint will fall on his head. He ends up many times being the laughing stock of the town, and he, he resents that, and at one point he tries to do something about it, and that doesn't turn out so well either. So Duddy is really a composite of five or six people I knew in the 1950s growing up in Paris. I've taken a little bit from one and a little bit from the other. The real pivotal story of Duddy Doesn't Live Here Anymore is the truck in the tree when he's uh, cavorting with Mary Lou Weaver and the truck goes off the bank and uh, lands in a big uh, elm tree, Dutch elm tree. And Mary Lou is stuck in the, uh, is stuck in the tree for several hours while the, uh, the, the fire department comes. By the time Duddy gets home, his wife already knows what's happened. And a young couple drive him up to the house. He sees his suitcase and his duffel bag there, and there is a sign that says, Duddy doesn't live here anymore. And from that point on, Duddy's life changes. Well, I had a lot of fun writing funerals. I, I find funerals are usually uh, more fun than weddings. Uh, I don't know, there's always some that a funeral that happens that shouldn't happen, or, you know, there's always some implausible thing, at least in the funerals I've been at. So, uh, I had fun writing the funeral scene, and the truck in the tree scene, and the Mrs. Gordon McKenzie scene, I might add. That was a lot of fun as well. Well, news, writing news is pretty straight-jacketed because you have to write the facts as you know them at any given hour. In fiction, you can use your total imagination and you can carry the story anywhere you want to and, and you have a lot of flexibility. You don't have writing news of current affairs. However, I have learned over the years that in most cases, truth and true stories are stranger than fiction. And a lot of the stories in Duddy Doesn't Live Here Anymore are in fact true stories that happen to people.